Did you know that becoming a Salesforce Certified Administrator opens up incredible career opportunities like promotions and new jobs? I'm Jillian Bruce, and today I'm going to share seven tips to help you pass your Salesforce Administrator exam. Tip number one, check out the exam guide. It gives you an overview of what to expect in the exam, topic areas that are covered, how the exam is structured, what it looks like to sit for the exam. That is your starting point to get this process rolling. But step number two, go ahead and sign up and schedule an exam. I know you may be thinking, hold up, Jillian, that's a lot. I just learned about this. I'm not ready to schedule one, but you are. Schedule it three months out, schedule it six months out, whatever the timetable is for you, put it on the calendar because I don't know about you, if it's not in the calendar in my world, it doesn't exist. So give yourself a goal to work towards. Put it on the calendar, schedule that exam. Number three, study buddies. Find some study buddies. You can find study buddies all over the place. You can go on the Trailblazer community. There are actually admin certification prep groups. You can find them on LinkedIn as well. Maybe your local user group has people that are studying for the exam. Join them, work together. It's so much more fun to study together. And there's always a good thing about having an accountability buddy, right? I know I need them to make sure that I get things done that I normally wouldn't prioritize. So get a study group. Number four, hands-on practice. Get experience using the product. Salesforce is way fun and it can do a lot of things, but you need to understand what it's like to be a Salesforce administrator and do those tasks before you sit for the exam. You can do this by using Trailhead. Trailhead is the fun way to learn Salesforce. There are gamified ways to do challenges and actually get practice building things in the app. We have a beginner admin trail. We have an intermediate admin trail, which are great places for you to start and build your own app because there's nothing that's better to prepare you for being a Salesforce administrator than being your own Salesforce administrator. Build an app to track something or manage something in your life you're currently doing. Maybe it's the TV shows you've been binging or it's the recipe planning you've been doing. You can build an app for pretty much any process you've got and that is a great way to understand what it's like to build an app from scratch and customize it for yourself. Okay, number five, the trail and the trail mix. So there is a Salesforce administrator prep trail and a Salesforce administrator certification prep trail mix. Say those five times fast. The trail is great because it covers all the topics that are contained in Trailhead that will be on the exam. I promise if you finish that whole trail before you take the exam, you're gonna be in really good shape. I also suggest checking out the things that are on the Salesforce administrator certification prep trail mix. It contains things that are not already on Trailhead. Things like the Who Sees What video series, which is an incredible series done by our documentation team about how the security settings work in Salesforce, how the visibility rules work. For me, that was key to me passing my Salesforce administrator cert. So make sure you check out both the trail and the trail mix. And then number six, take the certification day prep webinar. This is a webinar that's free. It's run by our certification team. They happen all of the time. So I guarantee you'll be able to find one that works for your calendar. This takes you to number seven, the final step in this Salesforce administrator certification journey. Take the exam. Make sure you feel great going into the exam day. Make sure you've done all of the practice. Make sure you've done all of the prep and feel confident that you've got the skills and experience you need to pass and rock this exam. Now, Talk about test taking strategies. My strategy may work for you is I go through the whole test and I answer the questions that I know, just no question, know those answers, gonna answer them, get, go through and answer all those first. I save the questions I'm a little unsure about and then I go back and answer those after. Now, let's say you don't actually pass your first time. That's okay, it happens, but you know what? you're gonna get a report on what areas you need to work on, which is fantastic because that is your study guide. So make sure you schedule that second makeup exam super quick so that you can go sit there and then, ta-da, pass your exam, which is so exciting. Throw the confetti, celebrate, share your success, put that certification on your LinkedIn profile, put it on your Trailblazer profile, share that you have passed this very important exam because now you've unlocked this new career path. All of these new opportunities will be coming your way. And who knows, maybe that promotion is closer than you've ever thought it would be. So 
Go take your exam, and I look forward to seeing you celebrate when you pass.